Hey everybody, it's your pal Sal from Sal Dougie's House of Cards, and today we got a bunch of trade updates to look at. Lots of cool cards coming into the house. Great mix. And we're actually going to start the video off <laughs> with a card that I traded for probably th over three years ago. It's this 1997 Stadium Club, Ben McDonald. So uh, back in 2020, like a lot of people, I had some extra time and some extra money, and I bought... I think it was uh, maybe 1,100, 1,400 Brewers cards from uh, someone in Iowa. Um, it was a mix from the, I'd say, the mix spanned from maybe as early as 84 through 1999, maybe. No, I guess it went up into the early 2000s. Uh, and then there was a couple of uh, kind of modern cards, but most of the, the 1,300 or, or whatever it was was in that range. And about half probably were duplicates, but I, I kind of knew that going into the purchase. Uh, still thought it was a pretty good price. Wanted to add a lot to my Brewers PC, and I wanted a lot from the late 90s, early 2000s. I didn't have a lot of those cards because I had been out of the hobby. Uh, so when the cards came in, you know, I sorted them all out, um, picked the best version of all the ones that had duplicates, and gave some away to some friends, and then stuffed a bunch of the duplicates in a box and was like, I'll deal with that later. I'll give them away to neighborhood kids. I don't know. But then uh, I've kind of done some of that, and then over time, I've started looking in there for cards to trade, so I just thought, oh, I'll pull out the, all the ones I think they're worth listing. I might get some trade offers on. Um, so I pulled out any Stadium Club's cards I could find, and then when I was listing them in TradingCardDatabase.com, when I got to this card, it was unclicked for the collection. Uh, so I must have got confused by a similar card. I did get a bunch of these 97 Upper Deck or uh, Stadium Clubs in that trade. Uh, so I thought it was pretty funny. Picked up a brewer that I had for three years and didn't even know. And then everything else is from uh, more recently here. So we got, uh, this is a cool trade from Canada. This is a, an awesome mix. Um, we'll start out here with this 91 Fleer Ultra Paul Molitor. So nothing too exciting there, but another good Molly pickup for the PC and the brewer's total. Then we got a couple here. This is from Pro Set 1991. Uh, I definitely remember this card. I'm pretty sure I had this one as a kid. Uh, Ron Rivera, we have in Spanish here. My Spanish is, is not good enough to know exactly, but it's kind of a stay in school, I think. Um, maybe someone who speaks Spanish that's watching this can give me a little bit more insight. Uh, and then a similar card here, another Bears linebacker. Think about it. Mike Singletary, be the best. So I like these kind of, I don't know, stay in school, do your best kind of cards. I like I like propaganda. So pretty cool there. Then we got from, this is a Topps card. It is a post-serial card. 2002 former Brewers slugger Greg Vaughn on the Tampa Bay Rays there. Might have even been the Devil Rays back then. Might not, though. Then we got here from OPG. This uh, this trade came from Canada, if I didn't say that already, which is for these next at least two cards, uh, I think uh, kind of goes hand in hand. I like looking at Canadian trader collections when I make uh, trades. It's not the most cost effective, but sometimes they just have like a unique exposure to different cards. So uh, we have from OPG 1990. Valerie Kamensky Soviet National Card or Central Red Army Card. And then we've got this great 1991 AW Sports Rocket Ishmael. Look at that. Rocket Ishmael on the Toronto Argonauts. So when I was uh, a kid, uh, Rocket Ishmael was a big deal, especially when he was in college. I think he might have been on the uh, cover of Sports Illustrated. Super exciting player. Never really panned out in the NFL, but um, awesome Canadian football card. And this card, uh, this card actually has a little, nothing crazy, but it's some decent value to it. It's a nice trade pickup here. This is from 2002 Twizzlers. Mia Ham. So great pickup for my kind of other sports PC, if you will. I guess it's probably the world's most popular sport, but here in America, we lump it in as an other sport. But great, uh, Mia Hamm, legendary United States athlete, World Cup champion, Mia Hamm. 
and it's a Twizzlers card. And in the back, me and him, 2001 FIFA Women's Player of the Year. Got her 108th goal on May 16th, 1999 in Brazil. No, against Brazil in Orlando, Florida. So super cool pickup there. And these next ones, uh, a little bit basketball heavy, but that's kind of cool because basketball season just about to kick off. And uh, when I drop this video, probably be pretty close to the opening of the season. Probably not quite, but well, maybe it's it's coming fast. Maybe a couple weeks from when I'm recording this. So hopefully when I drop this one, it's NBA season. But uh, we do have one baseball card picked up in here from 1993. Fleer Ultra, one of my favorite sets, Tim Raines. And then we got a bunch of these NBA on NBCs. Um, some pretty great performances here. I love these cards. We got Alonzo Morning. <clears throat> and let's see, Morning. Game two versus the Celtics, Eastern Conference quarterfinals. David Robinson on the Spurs. Looks like going up against the Suns. Game four, Spurs, Suns, Western Conference semifinals. Got John Starks on the Knicks. There we go, Starks. Game one, Knicks and Bulls, Eastern Conference Finals. Another John Paxson card here. NBA on NBC. John Paxson, game six, Bulls, Suns, NBA Finals. You might remember that one. Paxson hits the three-pointer with 3.9 seconds left to put the Bulls ahead in uh, in the final victory of their third NBA championship, sealed by Horace Grant blocking Kevin Johnson's drive attempt at the end of the game. Got a cool David Robinson inside stuff card, and he's with a, a kid, kind of a make-a-wish situation, super collector. Maybe not Super Collector, but he's got a, a bit of Super David Robinson fan. And he's got a, I don't know if Robinson's giving him all those cards in the plaque or he brought a plaque with the Robinson cards in there. But I love cards that have cards on them. So super touching David Robinson there. And then last one from this trade. This is a set I had a lot of as a kid. 1994-95 Fleer, Tony Kukoc. Definitely remember that paint splotch. Then, in our third trade here, we got a few brewers here. We got from 2008 Upper Deck, beautiful Bill Hall card. I believe that is against the Tigers at Comerica. This is an absolute beaut here. 19, or 2019 Topps Chrome Christian Yelich. I love it. Picking up those chrome cards for the PC. I, I like this one a lot. I like when the chrome cards have a lot of like silver kind of naturally. Um, you know, this one kind of from the border, the marker on the outfield wall and Yelich's gray jersey. 2020 Topps Heritage Brock Holt. 2022 Topps Heritage Colton Wong. So some Brewers infield there. And one last brewer out of this trade, 2022, Tyrone Taylor. Tyrone had a, well, he had an injured season, but when he was healthy, he actually cranked it out for the brew crew. So, um, hope, interesting to see what the future holds for Tyrone. And a bunch of top stadium club. This is uh, some more basketball here. This is 94, 95. Tops stadium club. We got uh, the Patrick Ewing base card. And then these are kind of cool. This one is a through the glass card. And this one, also they reference um, specific games. So this one was December 9th, 93 against the Warriors in Oakland. We got another through the glass. This one is Penny Hardaway. And then we got Shaquille O'Neal right here. This is the base Shaq great Shaq card there definitely how I remember Shaq on the magic and then a beautiful Dikembe Mutombo so a couple of big stars at the five spot Shaq and Dikembe and we got a funny looking Chris Mullen here 
not necessarily because of Mullen, but he's getting posted up by Sean Bradley. So that gives you a good idea of how tall Bradley was. Uh, Mullen's probably not short. He is six foot seven. So let's look at that again. Six foot seven, and this guy is a, a more than a head taller, and he's kind of leaning down a little bit. So uh, funny, Chris Mullen there. Couple of great Dennis Rodmans here. We got the base card. Love this one with the pink hair. And I think that's my first Spurs Dennis Rodman. Maybe I have one other one. And then I threw the glass on Rodman as well. And I think we owe it to see how many rebounds he got. 10 offensive rebounds and 25 total for Rodman. Cleaning the glass. And then a couple of landscape cards here. We got Hakeem Olajuwon. It's his base card here, and then this one, college teammates, Patrick Ewing and Reggie Williams at Georgetown. And then one final trade for the video here. I think this one's all Brewers, so for those of you that stuck around, you've got some sweet, sweet Brewers content coming your way. 1992 Classics Best, Eric Whitford. So technically, this is probably a Stockton Ports. Yeah, Stockton Ports. Then we got Bowman. This one, Bowman Gold Foil, 1992. Matt Mieske again. And a beautiful card there on the Mieske. Got a polo on. That's kind of funny. And then on the back, Matt Mieske. Speaking of the Stockton Ports, he was your 1991 California League Player of the Year. And then we got another Miski here from 95 Donruss. Got some more Cal Eldreds. We got from Score Select 1993 and Triple Play. Also, oh, this one's a 94. A couple of Cal Eldreds. Oh, let's see. Upper Deck Victory 2002 Ellen Lavralt. How many of you remember the career of Ellen Levert? Probably more than remember the career of Corey Howell. Corey Howell, Bowman's first. Got another Bowman here. This is um, 2020 Bowman prospect. Zach Brown has yet to make the big leagues, but I think he's in the Brewers system. And the final card of the trade in the video, absolutely gorgeous, 2021 Bowman Platinum, which I love Bowman Platinum. It's one of my favorite modern sets. Christian Yelich, beautiful shine on there. We'll give a little flash to wrap up the video. Thanks, everybody who stuck around. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will talk to you all in the future.